Matt can tile a countertop in two hours and his assistant can do the same job in three hours. If Matt starts the job and his assistant joins him one hour later, then how long will it take to tile the countertop? Well, let's begin by identifying our variable and organizing the data in a chart. In this case, we'll let t represent the time it takes to tile the countertop. Now, the amount of task each individual completes is equal to their work rate times the time working on the task. Now, in this case, it says Matt can tile a countertop in two hours. In other words, he can do the one job in two hours or one half of the job per hour. Now, his assistant can do the same job in three hours. So, he can do one third of the job per hour. Now, if Matt is working on the job for T hours and his assistant joins him one hour later, then his assistant is working on the job for T minus one hours. Okay, now we can determine the amount of task Matt completes by multiplying his work rate times the time, or one half times T. Now, the amount of task that his assistant will complete will be one-third times t minus one. And certainly the task here is to complete one tiled countertop. Okay, so the setup is determined here by the first column. The amount of task completed by Matt plus the amount of the task completed by his assistant will be equal to one complete task. Okay, so to solve this equation, I would begin by multiplying both sides by the LCD, or 6. And that'll leave us with 3t plus 2 times t minus 1 equals 6. And so this is linear. We have 3t plus 2t minus 2 equals 6. 5t minus 2 equals 6, or 5t equals 8. So that tells me t equals 8 fifths, or 1 and 3 fifths. And so we conclude that it'll take 1 and 3 fifths of an, of an hour to tile the countertop.